crew, and folks are just having a fantastic time. If you're gonna be any place on Derby night, this is the place to be. This party goes on to 5 a.m. and we're gonna stay until 6 because the party is just fantastic. So we're gonna just show you a little bit of what's going on. So take a look at this. Okay, I'm here with the mastermind of this event, Mr. Darrell Griffith. 18 years? 18 years. How do you keep it going? Well, I mean, the, the community inspires it. You know, this is a community event, and we try each year to take it to another level to give them, you know, give them something to, to look forward to on Derby. So what was the theme this year? I really don't go by theme. My theme is like Nike, just do, just do it. Just do it, yeah, yeah. So who are some of the celebrity guests that you brought in town? Well, we got Chili from Salt and Pepper, Kevin Willis, Robert Ari, Allen Houston. We got Salt and Pepper. It's hard for me to keep up with them because they all just show up, you know. But it's been a good night. Everybody looks like they're having a great time. I know I am. And this will go on until what time Monday? Uh, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> now I'm really old. Now we're stopping this about 4.30. 4.30? Yeah. So just in time to go to church. Come to Louisville, Kentucky. Is this your first time to the Derby? No, I don't, this is not my first time. So, are you enjoying yourself? Definitely. I'm definitely enjoying myself and all the wonderful, fine people of Louisville. What can we expect from you in the future? Well, I'm actually working on uh, my new album. It's going to be my sixth album release. I don't have a title for it just yet, but I'm working on some, some, really, some really, really cool stuff. So, I really appreciate it if everybody out there go out there and support and uh, get the album when it comes out. I'm sorry I don't have a, a title or a date for you just yet, but I'm still working on it. I really enjoy your music, your Thank style. You. How do you keep it fresh? Yeah. You know, you cross over to my age, my daughter's age, everybody in between. But so how do you do that? I don't even know, bro. I just, I just do what I do with what I have to do it with, you know. And I just, I thank God for it every day. Yeah. Now where are you based out of? I'm in Atlanta now. I'm from Philly, but I'm in Atlanta now. So how is Atlanta for a market for what you're doing? Oh, it's real cool. It's um. It reminds me a lot about a, a, a lot. It reminds me a lot of Philadelphia because it's a um, it's a hub for a lot of creative people. Um, it's very inspiring to be surrounded, you know, to be in that environment with a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of hungry people. You know, it's it's one thing to be in a town full of talented people, but it's another thing to be in a town in a town full of talented people who's hungry for it. So everybody just sort of feed off of each other. So it's a beautiful town. One last question. What advice for the next generation of people that want to be the next music soul child? First of all, you don't want to be me. You want to be you. Um, stay true to yourself. Work hard. Don't give up. Just keep going. Work hard. And um, just have fun with it, man. It's your life. You only, do, you, only, you only get this one time. You only go around one time. So have fun with it. Enjoy yourself. Don't work too hard. But... Don't be lazy either. You know, try to keep everything balanced. You know, just just grind it out and you'll know what I'm talking about. Just figure it out. And I could give you a whole bunch of little little things, but everything is different for everybody. So you gotta do what work, what works for you. What may work what, what might have worked for me might not work for you. What what worked for you might not work for me, you know? So just stay, just stay on that grind. Uh, and keep God first and have fun with it, man. Have fun with it. Kevin, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome back. Man. Thanks, man. How you doing? Enjoying yourself this year? Yeah. Oh, no doubt. I always do. But did you have a winning horse? I'm sorry? Did you have a winning horse? You know what? I won my first bet, $800. Turned around and lost in about an hour. But it was all in good fun. Yeah. So what brings you back to Louisville every year for the Derby? Well, this is the first time I ever gone to the first? first time. So, great experience, man. Great weekend, and I'll be doing it again very in the very near future. So, tell me, what are you doing these days? I have a company in Atlanta. I design men's uh, premium denim for all the guys and my buddies in NBA, MLB, NFL. Because it's hard for us to buy stuff out of stores, 
So that's what I do. Now for the big guys in Louisville, if they wanted to uh, support you, how can they get in contact with you? Willis and Walker at AOL.com. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of your derby. You Man, you are so tall. <laughs> Crew at Allen Houston, first of all, welcome home. Thank you. It's great to be home. Great to be home. Now, I know you're here for Derby, but you were also here for a very special event, which was the first time for it over the Kentucky Center for the Arts, Celebration for Black Athletes. Tell me a little bit about that uh, that event. Well, it was a wonderful event. Deborah Costa did a great job. Uh, we had a wonderful lineup of people, who, recipients. Uh, my grandfather, who was a um, coach at Central High School, won three national championships in high school national championships. Uh, 52, 55, and 56. Um, so we honored him. We honored Greg Page. We honored uh, so many, uh, Lenny Lyle, so many deserving recipients. Um, so it was just an honor to be a part of it. Great, great. Now, did you get an opportunity to go out to the track this year? No, I didn't. You know, we, we were really active. Um, our foundation and some other organizations going out to different schools, and we did a, a, a father-son camp at Hoops. We did a a game at my old school, Ballard. So we were really kind of active out in the community this time, so I just kind of laid back and did that and enjoyed some time with the family. Now I know you are a serious family, man. You have, what, four kids? Four? Five. 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 Okay, I was missing one. Yeah. So how do you balance that schedule? Well, it's tough. You know, it's tough. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still working with the Knicks now, so I just stay busy doing that, but you know, it's a lot of fun when you got young, a young, a bit young, large young family, um, because you just you just learn a lot of lessons. You know, it teaches you a lot. And being a coach's son, you know, you learn a lot about, you know, trying to manage it. Because my father did a good job, so I'm just trying to follow in his footsteps and my mother's footsteps. So Wade and Alice set an excellent example. Now, since you're speaking of coaches, we know the University of Louisville now has Coach Charlie Strong. What do you think he's going to do for the Louisville program? I hope he does a great job. I mean, I haven't followed, been able to follow Charlie much, but I know that um, you know my father and people who are um, in the mix are very excited about it. So, you know, I hope he. I wish him the best because uh, it's fun to talk about multiple sports when you talk about Louisville now. Yeah. Alan, as always, thanks for spending some time with Urban Lifestyle and enjoy the rest of your derby. And uh, it's just great seeing you back in Louisville. All right, thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Louisville, Kentucky. Having a ball, great experience, my first time, loving it. So it's fair to assume that you will be back? Oh, of course, I'm trying to book my ticket tonight. <laughs> did you have any luck at the track? I did, I had luck, I lost. This is the first place I didn't mind losing money. Well, you're different from me because I lose, I live here and I hate losing money. Oh, it was fun though, it was great. So tell me, what's going on with you? Well, I'm doing a lot of touring. So Salt and I, we're also in the studio working on some stuff, so, yeah, and other little things in the works. So what's it like being on a reality show? Great, fun, being me, you know. It's, I'm an entertainer, so I like to entertain, it's just another venture, you know. But you're sharing so much of your life with the public. Yeah, but you know, right about now with the Twitter and the Facebook, everybody know everybody now. <laughs> Well, thanks for spending some time with Urban Lifestyles and enjoying the rest of your stay. And we expect to see you back here next week. Yes. But we want you to come in on Thursday for the 100 Black Men of Louisville's Ooh, 20th Anniversary Ball. Ooh. All right? If I could, I'd be here. That sounds great. Okay, baby.